Well, no. Maybe he said that at first. But I think that he changed his mind once he got more. Right. You know, like. Mm hmm. I mean, not, maybe not those words, but something like that I think was said. Actually, it may have been about Danielle. At the beginning, he was hanging out with Danielle. But it wasn't can't, it was 21. Oh, but still, Dick said thing, things about every single person in this house in the beginning. Yeah. And no one's yeah, trying to throw well, it back at like, him. It's just annoying. Because, like, the, now they're like, yeah, Jessica doesn't like you and whatever else. Like, about me. And I was like, what? I mean, maybe, but... Or maybe but, at the beginning, or you know. But what the I thing mean? is, like, their story shifts every single week. Yeah. And it's depending on who I noticed that who they want to target at that moment yeah. is who they will target at that moment. And it just needs to stop. Yeah, and that's because, like, the thing is, they can't be like, "Oh, Jessica doesn't like you." Jessica doesn't speak to either one of them. Yeah. I know. Well, I was told that Jess doesn't like me. And I was like, at first I was like, oh, maybe. And then I was like, why would she not like me? Like, no offense, but like. There's no reason. If she, yeah. like, doesn't like me, and like, later, like, if I find that out and, like, see that, like, I'm not having her come over to my house and, like, stay with me and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, why? I mean, not to be rude, but, like, why would she? She has no reason. I mean, that's goofy. Like, I thought, that would, like, make me sad because, like, I have so many, like, fun things for us to do out here and, like. To see that would like just feel like that's well but like, also you know it's a it's a week by week thing yeah. you know and like people's opinions change of people oh yeah at the beginning every... like, thing, it was like it was from the first two three weeks like sure yeah. i don't even care yeah like you know what i mean because like i'm i am like hard to understand or to like at first like i know that well, but, and like you you, you also say like i don't know how to be empathetic yeah. and it's just not my bag of chips to yeah, like it's not I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want people yeah. thinking I'm, I suck. My mom's always trying to get me to work on that. <laughs> just something, I don't know. But it's not like, it's like, like, this is what I like to point out though. It's not like I'm not empathetic to other people, but like I care about myself. Like, I'm not empathetic to myself. Mm -hmm. Like, even when Dick's yelling at me, like, I don't even care that I'm being yelled at, you know? It's yeah. not like I'm being, it's not like it's just because it's other people. Yeah. Like, it was it was the weirdest thing ever. Like, it was like everyone, like, their family dies and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I was like, that sucks, you know? And then, like, my yeah. grandpa died, and it was like, I was sad, but at the same time, it was just kind of like, well. Life moves on. Yeah, like, and then I realized, like, you know what? Like, that's just an issue I have <laughs> at that point. It was mm -hmm. not like I didn't love my grandpa, and, like, you know, it wasn't sad. It's just for some reason, I don't no, know. No, and Joe had that problem, too, just because I think you and Joe were very similar in the fact that I mean, and I don't want you to take offense to this, but yeah, you guys were handed things. You know what I mean? Like, at Not least really. like, in, well, in the in the recent part of your life, you're like, I've never applied for a job. I don't know how to do my own hair. You know what I mean? Oh, like, but I've earned that. <laughs> yeah. But, and, and Joe, like, like terrible things would happen to me and to my friends, and he'd be like, what's the big deal? Uh, like, move on. And it's because, Terrible like, things happen to me, though, and I just move on anyways. Yeah. Like my car, I got in a, my car got totaled, and I was like, "Oh, that sucks." Yeah. I guess I'll have to get a new one. And I was like, "Oh, well, I'll get a new car, yay!" <laughs> yeah, that's how I looked at it too. I totaled my car, and I was like, "Oh, I'll miss that thing." But you know, I I don't know. My my motto in life is that you why complain and sulk about a situation because it does solve nothing. Mm -mm. You know, like nothing. being being a negative Nancy and complaining about things yep. and whining and only crying makes everything worse. Only makes the situation worse. It, it solves nothing. So I don't understand why people yeah. in situations sulk and complain and cry and moan and bitch about things that are completely out of their control. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, like Danielle pissed and moaned and bitched about the bunny suit the entire time it happened. Yeah, well so did Kale. Yeah. Just Zach and I didn't. And the dumping of the funk. I don't think Zach and I complained at all about nope. the bunny suit. Nope, you guys didn't at all. Like, the only time I was complaining, and I wasn't even complaining, I was just trying to get food out of it when, yeah. with the, when we had Because I wanted to. I was like, ooh, do we get to wear into the live show, you know? Yeah. And then, like, I wanted to. I didn't want not want to. I just wanted to try to get to eat. <laughs> it wasn't like I was complaining. You just wanted to get to <laughs> I just eat. wanted some food. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I just think it's cool, like, how often do you do any of this stuff? Mm-hmm. Like, I completely agree. Like, I do feel bad for Eric that he has, like, hasn't got to participate. Like, that's, like, the point of being here is to, like, be able to do all these fun things mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. I was so sad the first week when I didn't get to play. We were all stuck upstairs. Yeah. And then yeah, that did suck. I was like, aww. We didn't even get to watch, though. Everyone else gets to watch all the other ones so far. Think about it, though. There were seven of us that were stuck up in the HOH. Mm-hmm. And Dick, that was half the house. Dick and I. Were... Mm-hmm. But now there's nine of us total. <gasps> I know. That's crazy. When you, like, um, are you biting your lip or sucking your lip? Biting it. Do you suck on your lip? I used to, and then I had to have, like, surgery to get it removed. It, like, created a little, mm. like, mound. Yeah. And then I bite now. Oh. I started doing it, and I do it now. I do it more often here than anywhere else. But, um, I'm a gum chewer. Like, avid trident chewer. Uh. No, I don't. No, his sister. I came in at Hooters. Well, just because, like, getting my whole family together and, like, my, my my mom's side of the family and then, like, my dad and my stepbrother and his wife, you know? Yeah. And, like, bringing them to one place and, like, my mom's a picky eater my dad has high standards and, like, you know... Um, so it didn't work at Hooters? No, I was going to just to, like, have it be funny. Like, how funny is that? <laughs> yeah. Is there, like, more than one Hooters there? No, there's just one. <gasps> So then, have you ever been to that one? Mm-mm. Oh. She's the hostess when I went there like two, three years ago. <laughs> I'm sure she probably does something else. 